Grieving family took part in a walk to raise awareness about distracted driving. This comes after two young girls were hit and killed by a truck driver. Police say that driver was on his phone at the time of the crash. CBS 2's Tina Patel has more now from Long Beach. It's just hard to little girls going to school and then this happens to them. Tony Lorenzo says he thinks about his nieces every single day. In April, 14 year old Marlene and 12 year old Amy were hit and killed by a truck driver in South LA. Police say the driver had been looking at music videos on his phone and wasn't paying attention to the road. It's painful what we've been through and we don't want other families to go through what we been through it because it's really painful. That's why today the Lorenzo family took part in the walk to end distracted driving put on by the Auto Club. When you take your eyes off the road for just two seconds, that doubles your chances of being involved in a crash. And on average, when you read or send a text message, it takes about five seconds. Traveling at 55 miles per hour, that is like traveling the entire length of a football field blindfolded. The Auto Club says drivers have gotten better at recognizing the dangers of driving while intoxicated. Now their goal is to raise awareness about driving while intoxicated. Most people know it's wrong and dangerous to get behind the wheel after drinking alcohol, yet they don't think twice about picking up that smartphone to send a text message, an email, you know, program GPS or look up music. This display of shoes represents all the people injured or killed in distracted driving crashes each day in the U.S. The Lorenzo family says these kinds of tragedies can be prevented. People should think first before picking up their phone while driving, stuff like that, because they're endangering their life and so is other people's life. And sometimes it could be just beautiful kids. In Long Beach, Tina Patel, CBS 2 News.